Hey everybody, it's Rusty, and first of all, I'd just like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. If you were watching it, this video today, um, on Christmas morning. Uh, last night, um, I went to my mom's house just to get a little personal here. My parents are divorced, uh, about 10, 12 years ago, so yeah. Uh, that was a while ago, but anyways, uh, I went to my mom's house last night and celebrated Christmas there on Christmas Eve. And, uh, it was a fantastic Christmas. We had a lot of fun. We, uh, watched Christmas Vacation and then had our Christmas gift-giving extravaganza, if you will. So, um, got a lot of fantastic things, and I'm very thankful for everything I got. Um, but, basically, um, word got out that, uh, I got a retro console from my mom, and I wasn't sure which one it was. So I was bugging my sister all week trying to figure out what it was, but she wouldn't tell me. I'm kind of glad she didn't, though, because it was a great surprise, and, um, I'm just absolutely psyched. But before I get into that, I'll show you some of the other things that my mom got me. This huge box was sitting in the back of the tree, and, uh, I had to wait to open that one last. She made me. So, um, here are some of the other things that she got me. Uh, the, one of the first things I opened was Dragon Quest IV, um, for the Nintendo DS. I've never played any of the Dragon Quest games or the Dragon Warrior games for the NES. Um, so I'm really excited to get into this. I think this is a port of Dragon Warrior 4. Um, and I've heard really great things about it. Um, so I'm really interested in getting into this. I know it's a really um, kind of hardcore uh, turn-based RPG, but um, I'm really interested in getting into the genre. And uh, Dragon Quest seems like a great place to start. I also got two $25 gift cards to GameStop. Um, it was kind of funny, you know, instead of my mom just placing each of these in the same box, she put, like, them in two giant, like, shoe boxes packaged separately uh, to kind of, I don't know, psych me up or, you know, just not spoil the surprise or something, I don't know, but it was kind of funny opening two giant boxes for gift cards, but um, I was happy about that. I also got Toy Story 3, which I watched last night for the first time. It was so great. Um, you know, the Toy Story movie is just so just heartwarming. Um, just great Disney classics if you've not seen these movies. Um, you really need to. They're just, you know, a lot of great actors play the voices for the characters. And, um, you know, it's just a great trilogy, if you will, of uh, Disney movies. So, um, really excited to finally get this. Ooh, in the next movie, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. This is for, like, any video game fanatic. This is, like, your dream movie right here. Um, it is just... I don't even know. It's just so insane and just off the wall and just... I don't even know. It's just bizarre, but it's so unique and, uh, really just, um... If you're a video game, you know, fan, gamer like myself, this, <laughs> this movie was made for you. Um, I'm really interested in getting the graphic novels now, just because this movie was so great, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm glad I got that as well. And I believe that's it. So, alright, so I start opening this box, and uh, I have absolutely no idea what it is. But, um, this is basically the Christmas memory that, um, I never got to experience. Because, um, this was a retro console that came out a few years, or <laughs> quite a few years before I was born, and, uh, you know, all these other older gamers, um, here on YouTube always have, you know, the, their experiences with this console, opening it up on Christmas Day. I never had that experience, so to finally have that experience last night was just fantastic. Um, I don't think I'll ever forget it. it I went absolutely nuts when I opened it. Not as crazy as that N64 kid, but, uh, pretty close. So, when I opened up the box... This was the first thing I saw. An original Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, I have a Retro Duo, but I do not have the NES. And I was just so happy when I opened this. Like, I just went absolutely nuts. Um, I had one of these growing up. Um, at least my dad did. And, uh, I, we only had, like, five games for it. We had, uh, Mario and Duck Hunt, Mario 2, Mario 3... Tecmo Bowl and Golf. Um, so to finally get another one of these, I was just so happy. Um, you know, and it came with the light gun, which is just 
brings back so many memories when I was just, you know, really, really, really young. Um, and then two NES controllers. So that was just great. I just lost it when I opened that. And I thought that I only got three games for it, which, because in this giant box that my mom packaged, that's all there was, was these three games. I, um... Mario and Duck Hunt. And I love these, like, little kind of clear cases. Um, even says Nintendo on the front. Um, Tetris with the manual, so I thought that was really cool. I don't own Tetris on the NES, so that was really hyped about that. And then Mario 3, which I already do have Mario 3, but to have an extra copy, and uh, this one's in mint condition as well, um, is great, because it is it is my favorite game on the NES. Um, but, you know, my opinions may change considering the amount of other games that I got. So, I thought that was it. You know, um, an NES, three games, I was perfectly satisfied with that. And then, um, once everyone was finished opening up their gifts, my mom's like, all right, Rusty, there's one more thing. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, more. Um, I don't have a problem with that, but I was already, you know, just thrilled to have what I'd already opened. So, um, she came in with this giant bag, and there was stuffing in it and everything, so I had no idea, or tissue paper, so I had no idea what it was. Um, I wasn't expecting more games. But then, I opened it up, and there were like 20 games in this bag, and I just absolutely lost it. My face was just like red, I was in complete shock, screaming at the top of my lungs, just so excited. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, kinda fly through some of these games here. And you guys can tell me which ones I should play, which ones I shouldn't, um, because I don't, I don't, half these games I've never even heard of. Um, so we have Pinbot, um, I, some pinball game, I don't even know, I've never heard of that game. <laughs> Magic Johnson's Fast Break. The Little Mermaid, which is by Capcom, so, you know, I might actually check that out. Pinball. And this is, like, one of those, um, the action series, I think, um, Nintendo published that one. And then I'm excited to get this one, too, because I don't have this, uh, kind of dual cart. It has Super Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, and, uh, World Class Track Meet, so that's exciting. Ninja Gaiden. I know this is supposed to be a pretty good one, um, but I have not played this one yet, so I'm excited to get into that. I got another copy of Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. Oh, look at that. I'm like choking on my gum. Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. I have three copies of this now, so if one breaks, I'll just go on to the next one. Wheel of Fortune, my favorite, one of my favorite shows of all time. Um, I don't know how it is on the NES, but I'm interested in checking it out. But Wheel of Fortune Family Edition. I uh, got another copy of Pinball. Um, I'm really interested in checking out this one, um, and that's Legendary Wings, also, uh, published in, I don't know if it's published or developed, but by Capcom, so, um, I'm really interested in getting into Legendary Wings, but you guys can let me know if you've played that one. Vegas Dream, uh, I'm sure you can play, like, you know, Roulette and, uh, the Slots and Blackjack and all that fun stuff on that one, so I'll be interested in checking that out. Uh, let's see here. These next two are the games that I think, out of the lot, I'm most excited to play, just because, um, I've heard great things about it. And that's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've heard this is a great arcade game. Um, I've never played it myself, so I'm very interested in popping this in my NES, and I'm sure I will later today. But you guys can let me know if you've played that. I know the second one's supposed to be really good, too. Um, this one... I actually heard, um, who was it, Gamester81 and Jason Heine, um, from the EMU Review, uh, 
they were talking about it on the All Gen Gamers podcast a couple weeks ago. Uh, I forget what the topic was for that episode, but they were talking about some, you know, just great NES games, and this one came up. 1943, The Battle of Midway. Um, I've heard this is kind of a harder game to come by, you know, you guys can let me know what your thoughts are on it. But, uh, I was really excited to get this. I've heard, you know, really great things about it, like I said. Um, Jason Heine from the EMU Review and Games 31 were talking about this, and, uh, they really liked it, so I'm, I'll be, I'll probably pop that one in later today as well. So, just when I thought it couldn't get any better, at the very bottom, I saw, um three boxed games, which I was just psyched. Um, one of them was actually a Super Nintendo game. It's nothing super special, but, you know, it's still nice to have uh, boxed games. And that's Ken Griffey Jr. Presents Major League Baseball. And this came complete with the manual and everything. The box is a little beat up, but I don't really care, you know, just to have a boxed game in my collection. Uh, it was really great because, I mean, box games are kind of hard to come by as far as retro games go these days. Uh, the next thing uh, was Tecmo Bowl, which is, like I said in the beginning of the video, one of the original games that I had for the NES um, when I was like two or three years old. So I was really happy to get that. And inside that actually came this like advertisement, which is also like, was just like in mint condition. Um, so I was really excited to see this. And this basically advertised a bunch of Tecmo's games. Uh, it advertises Rygar, uh, Tecmo Baseball, Star Force, Tecmo Bowl, and Ninja Gaiden. Um, so yeah. Another exciting game lineup from Tecmo. Start your collection today. So that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I was really excited to get that with the boxed copy of Tecmo Bowl. Um... The box is, like, really beat up, but, uh, it, I don't really care. Just to have the box copy is really sweet. And then, the final one here is Ice Hockey. Um, which I've also heard is a good game. Um, I think Games Ready 1, once again, was talking about this game on their All Gen Gamers podcast, and they said it was really great. Um, so I'm interested in popping this one in, as well as the other million games that I got. So, uh... I'd really appreciate it if you guys could just maybe comment below on some of these games here uh, that you've played, uh, your thoughts on them, and which ones I should pop in first today. Um, I'll be interested in, you know, hearing what you guys have to say because most of these games I have not played. I've just, you know, kind of hearing tidbits from other people here on YouTube, and then I looked up some gameplay footage of some of the games uh, last night. So I'm super excited to get all this stuff, but the thing is, um, the thing I guess that's kind of nice about having your parents divorced, but not really, um, you do get two Christmases, so it's kind of cool, but, um, my sister is still sleeping away at my mom's house right now, so until she comes over, I have to wait, but, um, later today I'll be celebrating Christmas with my father, and, uh, I'll be opening up all those gifts as well, and I'll have part two of this Christmas haul, um, later tonight probably. But uh, for right now, I hope you guys are enjoying this part one video of everything I got. Um, once again, I got the NES with all those games. Dragon Quest IV, Chapters of the Chosen for the Nintendo DS. Um, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World and Toy Story 3 on DVD. And uh, $50 gift card to GameStop. So uh, pretty cool. Um, actually, really cool. It's probably one of the most unforgettable Christmases I've had in a very long time. Um, I never got to experience that, you know, 1990s, um, you know, like that 1990, 1989 Christmas where everyone got the NES and the copy of Super Mario Brothers 3 and Mario Brothers 1 and Duck Hunt, you know, all that good stuff. I never got that. So to experience that last night, it was awesome. It really was just a thrilling experience and uh, I lost it. I was just so happy. So I'm interested in hearing what you guys got too. So I would love to see a response video. I'm sure many people are going to be making Christmas videos uh, of what they got this year. So I'm interested in seeing what you guys got. But if you can't post a video, you don't have a camera, um, no problem. PM me, comment below. I want to hear what you guys got. I hope you guys are enjoying the holidays with your families. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe. And um, until later tonight, guys, take care. And thank you so much for watching. See you later.